The situations depicted here represent scenarios that may happen in a clinical environment and depict how contact-free continuous monitoring could help in these deterioration situations. Welcome to Hilram's educational video, Detecting Early Patient Deterioration with Centrella Smart Plus Beds. In hospitals all across the world, caregivers must be constantly wary of patient deterioration. Patients begin to deteriorate six to eight hours prior to a critical event occurring. In situations where conditions like sepsis are the underlying cause of this deterioration, every hour counts, as it can be the difference in avoiding ICU transfer, a code blue, or extending length of stay. The earlier we identify the signs of patient deterioration, the more we can impact patient outcomes. However, traditional vitals measurements taken intermittently via the caregiver don't allow caregivers to see the trend of deterioration. And continuous monitoring, like telemetry and tidal CO2 or pulse oximetry, may be expensive, create unnecessary work for nursing, or cause the patient unnecessary discomfort tethering them to the bed. What if there was another way? Imagine a world where patients are protected by an ecosystem of digital health technology, where technology is empowering caregivers to recognize when patients begin to decline and get to their patients before the critical event or code blue occurs. That world is here. The Centrella Smart Plus Bed with contact-free continuous monitoring makes continuously monitoring your patient's vitals as easy as lying in bed. Let's look at three different patients where contact-free continuous monitoring enabled a caregiver to be drawn to the bedside at the right time to disrupt patient deterioration and improve patient outcomes. Barbara is a 55-year-old female who was admitted this morning with signs and symptoms of a mild infection. Barbara does not have an extensive medical history and is admitted to a med search unit for further observation. Late this evening, her respiratory rate begins to climb, and this causes her contact-free continuous monitoring to alert. The nurse receives this alert and is pulled to the bedside to investigate. After a quick exam and review of the CFCM trend screen, she notices a steady increase in the patient's respiratory and heart rate over the past eight hours. The nurse believes Barbara may be in early sepsis. Based on her heart rate, respiratory rate, and temperature, she meets SIRS criteria and notifies the provider. The provider orders the sepsis bundle, including blood cultures, additional labs, and antibiotics. By the next morning, Barbara's vital signs have improved, and she reports feeling much better. She will remain in med search for further observation. Now let's look at what could have happened if Barbara's bed was not continuously monitoring her heart rate and respiratory rate. Vital signs collected on Barbara during Q4 hour rounds did not recognize an increase in respiratory rate. Barbara's heart rate was slightly elevated from baseline, but did not trigger further investigation. At 7 p.m., Barbara complains of not feeling well. The nurse assesses Barbara and finds her respiratory rate is quite high, despite what was previously documented in the EMR. It turns out that Barbara's respiratory rate had been slowly climbing for the past six hours. However, manual assessment of respiratory rate is often inaccurate, as subtle changes can be hard to see. When Barbara complained of not feeling well, eight hours had passed. With every hour that sepsis goes undiagnosed, mortality risk increases by 8%. Barbara's risk has increased 64% while her subtle symptoms went unrecognized. She's now being transferred to the ICU with greater chance for complication, morbidity, or mortality than if her changing vitals had been caught earlier and earlier intervention could have taken place. Bill was admitted after breaking his elbow during a recreational softball game. He required emergency surgery and was placed in a med surge unit for recovery. When rounding, Bill tells his nurse that he's in pain and rates it a six out of 10. 
the nurse gives Percocet times two per doctor's pain protocol. Bill is opioid naive and has undiagnosed sleep apnea. Overnight, contact-free continuous monitoring alerts his nurse to decreasing respiratory rate. The nurse goes in, the patient is awake and seems fine. But she accesses the trend screen and sees that his respiratory rate has bottomed out a few times overnight. She determines that he likely has sleep apnea and notifies the provider. The provider adjusts medication to ensure the patient's respiratory rate is not further compromised by the opioids. Without this intervention from the caregiver, Bill could have slipped into opioid-induced respiratory depression and been at risk for a critical event. Instead, Bill recovered from his surgery nicely and was discharged quickly to home. Susan is a 47-year-old female admitted for abdominal pain. She has a history of arthritis, which she takes NSAIDs for. Late in the evening, she develops increasing abdominal discomfort. The nurse takes her vitals. The patient seems fine and is given an antacid and a warm blanket. Two hours later, the patient's heart rate and respiratory rate have exceeded the threshold, alerting the nurse to the patient's changing condition. On physical exam, the patient's abdomen is very tender and the patient is pale. The patient also complains of new dizziness and the nurse decides to call the provider. The nurse receives additional orders and the provider comes to the bedside. The doctor asks the nurse the course of symptoms that made her call for a provider. The nurse reports that the contact-free continuous monitoring alerted her and her assessment indicated a need for further intervention. The nurse adds that, without the contact-free continuous monitoring alert drawing her to the bedside, it would have been three or so hours before she did another assessment of Susan, and her situation could have been critical. Today's med surge environment is challenging. Patients are sicker than they were before. The Centrella Smart Plus bed with contact-free continuous monitoring helps to be a second set of eyes on med surge patients by monitoring their heart rate and respiratory rate two times per second. Caregivers are alerted to the subtle signs of deterioration and are drawn to the bedside for early intervention. This helps to keep patients safer, improve outcomes, and get patients back to their lives sooner. Welcome to the world of connected care.